What's poppin' YouTube? Grizzly Skull 950, but you can just call me Grizz, bringing you guys Pokemon Showdown PU Live. Now, if you guys haven't seen my previous video, feel free to check out the playlist under Miscellaneous. Me just outlining what I'm going to be doing here on YouTube in regards to content and all that. But without further ado, let's get right into this team build real quick. I have this team centered around Sub Kadabra, which I think is probably underrated. Um, uh, we have Houdini the Kadabra with sub three attacks, you know, life orb. I was debating running energy ball over hidden power fighting, but I don't want like Raticate to come in and just, just for revenge, or I should say, trap me with pursuit or whatnot. So, yeah, next we have Archaeops, which is another potential like late game sweeper, um, with acrobatic stone edge. Earth power, so I'm not completely helpless when Defeatus comes into play, and I can't go for Roost because Stuff Rocks are on the field and all that. Uh, we have Valerie, Gorgeist, uh, Papa Berry over Assault Vest because it makes it so I don't have to go for Synthesis. So I can just play more aggressively and go for Seed Bomb, which I originally had Will O Wisp there, but since Fighting type Pokemon really prosper this generation as a result of the Burn nerf. I don't really want to fuel the fire and have like Hariyama, which is the Pokemon being suspected, and like Girder just take advantage of it. So next we have Diamondite, the Carbink, with you know Stealth Rocks, Dazzling Gleam. I have uh, I had like Magicode originally, but I just decided that wasn't good. I only clicked it like twice. Uh, Toxic and Explosion just as a suicide. You know it's always good to just go Stealth Rocks and then. If I'm ready, if I feel like Diamondite has served its usefulness, we can just go boom and then go out into something like not a fan, the Rotom Choice Scarf to like pretty much deter things like offensive rain sweepers like Ludicolo, they just want to set up rain dance or go for a Z rain dance or whatever. I have Trick to neuter those wish passers like Clefairy and Aldino because those are annoying as heck. And last but not least, to round up the squad, we got Hopkins, the Hitmonchan, Rapid Spinning, Assault Vest, Mock Punch, Drain Punch, Ice Punch, Iron Fist, get off huge damage, revenge Pokemon that would otherwise sweep me if I didn't have it. So yeah, let's just get right into this live. This is a team, as I said, I've just built all by myself. I don't really expect to get far with it. I had a couple battles of it. I know it has some holes, like... Ironically enough, Archaeops just completely bends his team over sideways. <laughs> so let's just hope we don't have, we don't run into that. And if we do, we win the speed tie. But here we have, ooh, oh no! You see, there's a Caracosta. Like this guy, this uh, one previous battle I had had a Caracosta that set up the Shell Smash as I was in my carbing. So I was like. Okay, I'll go out to Gorgeist, and he goes for another Shell Smash, and I just eat up a plus four Stone Edge, and I just kill that thing with Seed Bomb. That was lovely. Um, yeah, um, I, I really want to just lead off with Diamond Knight, because I see a Masquerade. Oh, here's that same scenario. Good luck, have fun. That same scenario that I had before. Um, do I just go... Yeah, I think I just go out to Gorgeist and just... Not let this thing get, yeah. Life orb, shell smash. No, 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 man. Um, not today. All right. Um, I fully expect him to go out into. Oh, wow, he's mixed. Okay, so this guy is special. All right. Um, that would be a problem, but I do actually. I don't know if I outspeed this. Um, with Rotom. Um, I hope I do. That was bad. Yes, I do. Gone. Minus one Spadef. Get out of here. All right, but now he's gonna go into Golurk, who might, who I assume is just gonna get up rocks. So I think I'll just do the same. Um, this thing um, does have the Iron Fist. So yeah, he goes for Dynamic. Oh, and of course he confused me because that was, that's what Dynamic Punch does. So I think I wanna go just go for rocks. Nope, unfortunately. Um, all right, let's see. How do I get out of this mess? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go out into Houdini and I guess sub. Hoping that he thinks I wanna just go for Shadow Ball. 
I think he probably would just go into like shift tree and then sucker punch me or something like that. So if I'm behind a sub, oh nope, he's smarter than that. He just goes for earthquake. All right, um, just gonna go for shadow ball. Um, can't tell if this thing is assault fest. I don't think it is. Wow, um, this is bad. Uh, he doesn't have a switch into air slash. So as long as I don't miss, dang. I really thought Gorgas would have take. I didn't know he was gonna run special. And I really thought that Carbon would. I mean, I am Spadef, but still, I base 150 defense. Uh, I'm Scarf. I'm just gonna flinch you down. He's Fire Blast. Ooh, I don't know if he specs or what, but that was clutch. All right, one more Air Slash to do it. He could go into. Well, he could literally. Well, he uh, something just dies here. As you see, he has quite a bit of a flying weakness. Actually, Rotom just, outside of that goal, like Rotom just bends his team over. Alright, so I expect him to go into, okay, Masquerade. Um, I'm not messing with this threat. Um, if I flinched, that would be too bad. Alright. Okay, he didn't go for the Quiver. So I'm going to just go into Arrow, and then I think I just sweep this game up with Acrobatics. Unless he has a Scarf Primate, which is very likely, but if he does go into Primate, I'm just going to go out to hit my Chan to take either the Stone Edge or the incoming U-turn. So, yeah, I think that's what I have to do to win. I hope he... Nope, he... Okay, that's cool. His defense is lowered, which is fine. I do think I'm going to go for the Mock Punch. Alright, so he wasn't playing games. Alright, he wasn't making that over prediction. So, I'm going for. Oh, oh, we living, we living, we living. Alright, he goes into shift tree. I go for sucker punch. Immediately, I go for sucker punch. I mean, not now, Roost, sorry. He goes for sucker punch. I go for Roost. Oh, shoot, he's Z move. Wait, that's resisted. Yeah, that's resisted. I'm just gonna go for Roost. That was his most powerful attack right there. Um, Dark Pulse, Flinch. Oh. Okay, all right. He's going for dark pulse. I'm just gonna keep roosting. Um, I hope I can beat him out, but at this rate, I'm just asking. For oh, nope, never mind. All right, he went for nasty plot, which is interesting. Is he sash? Nope. All right, GG. Oh my gosh, yeah, that was a game. All right, let's just find our next one. Um, ladder points take too long to update, so let's just go to the second match. I plan to do at least like three. Assuming no one like forfeits upon team preview that won't count I'm trying to get as much as much battles as I can within like a 20 to 30 minute time slot All right, ooh, a crustal. That's the first time we've seen a crustal and a Pachirisu is new as well Electrode he could just Do he could just have like a taunt lead electrode or something? Um, This is tough. I don't rocks don't seem too important here so I think I'm just going to lead Actually, what's his answer to Archaeops? Not really anything So I'm just gonna go Archaeops and just fire off that Stone Edge All right Absol, yep, Stone Edge Not even messing around Um, he could go into Dusclops, but I don't think he wants to take a repeated Stone Edge Back-to-back -back Stone Edge and that will give me an opportunity to just go into something like, all right, but I missed the Stone Edge, unfortunately for me. Have to get out of here. Um, uh, I might as well just go out into Diamondite. Yes, we're gonna go. He's gonna go for Toxic. Um, I want to Toxic myself. Yep. All right. Nightshade. Not doing much. I'm gonna go up my rocks as. I don't, I don't see any hazard removal option on his team, not at all, not that his team is really affected by rocks all that much. Alright, I'm I'm fine letting this go down, because I can just go into, oh, he's rest, is he rest talk? I'm not sure, but Diamondite is down, I can just go for, I have a free sub right here, is what he just gave me a free opportunity to sub. That's the problem with passive Aviolite mods like Dusclops and Chansey Lake. See, Toxic, Nightshade, and Rest. When it, what do you do against a sub-Pokemon? Or something that just wants to set up? Like, he, like, 
He really just lost all momentum going for that rest there. But we'll see what he can put, can, what he can dish out. Alright. Toxic. Yeah, I'm going for Shadow Ball. I don't care if you go into Absol. Absol is probably taking like 70 from that. Got a Spadef drop. He's just trying to burn up his sleep turns, which I understand, but... Yeah, he's going to lose his Dust Club, and after that... Stuff like Hitmonchan and Archaeops really just put in more pressure. Alright, he goes into Absol. Another Spadef drop, not that it matters. He's gonna... He's gonna just sack off his Dust Clops, which is fine. Yeah, he knows I have the Life Orb, I mean... That's like the best item to run on a Magic Guard Pokemon with... What, base 125 special attack? As I said, I think Kadabra is underrated, like it's not that much weaker than Alakazam and it's still decently fast, especially in this tier. Um, but I guess that's why they have fat mons like, like some things like Dust Claps or something like an Assault Fest like a Guzzlord or something, assuming I don't run Dazzling Gleam cause that's not something you would run I don't think. Um, Pachirisu. I have no idea what you're gonna do. Do you get Nuzzle? I believe that's what they do. Super Fang. Alright. Um. No, I can't go for Sub, unfortunately. I think he's gonna go into Haunter, which pretty much will confirm that he's Scarf. Absol is here. Uh. Is he gonna Pursuit Me? Or Sucker Punch? Or just go for Shadow Claw? Predicting, like, Valerie to just sponge a hit um i'm gonna go for it yep all right so he's scarf with night slash Ooh, got the crit super luck night slash all right but now that i know now that i have that information i can just go on to hopkins sponge a hit and oh i really want to just go for ice punch predicting that haunter yep Catch that Haunter on the switch, he takes 12% from rocks and oh, oh man, that boy almost died. Uh, and I think, what do I not really need? I don't really need fan, so I'm just going to go out into fan. He's going to debond. Um, I'm fine with that, I'm just going to volt switch. Um, there goes my Rotom. And now I think I can just go out into my boy Archaeops. Cause I don't think, yeah, Electrode, Electrode, you can just catch this Earth Power. Um, Electrode could probably just gonna Volt Switch. Actually, wait, I don't think I should stay in on this. Um, no, 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 I have an AV hit my, he's Thief, what? Okay, he took my Assault Fest, that's fine. Um, what do you have for a Drain Punch? Thief Electrode? Oh, he just wanted to go boom. Man, I was there's no way I was going to go into... I probably should have gone into Gorgas because I resist. But hey, um, I think I'm going to just try to go for... It depends on what he goes in. I hope he goes into Crustle. Otherwise, I could be in trouble with this Absol since I lost my only way of revenging it. Um... Uh... I'm just gonna go for acro. Night slash. Alright, cool. That's gone. And I believe we do in fact take this game as Crustle is gonna take the rocks and even if I miss a stone edge, I, I don't think even if he tries to go for shell smash, he just makes himself vulnerable for a cadaver to just knock him out. But he would just knock me out in turn. So I think I'm just gonna go for uh Shadow Ball. And that is GG. Alright. Um, what points are we at? I, I want to see this ladder update and see how many points we have. Um, no. Like, I, I believe I should be close to 1100. Because I did, I did do, I did win a couple of games before I started this live. But I've also lost a couple too. Because of stuff like, you know, like, Scarf Eradicate, which I didn't know about. And... Rain sweepers. All right. Okay. Let's just find a. I think this will be our last game. We're coming up on 15 minutes, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let's let's just see how this game goes. All right. So this guy has Agron. Uh, the little Gint is here, and 
The big bad Hariyama, ready to put in work. Uh, he has no ground type. Could just lead off with Rotom. Um, predicting like, um... Oh, also I, I think Dazzle Gleam is also good for like, lead Sableye because Sableye, I don't really have much to really like threaten it outside of like, my wall breakers which I don't want being touched by this thing with prankster shenanigans. Alright, so he leads off with Agron. I'm just gonna go for... Um, I'm just gonna go for T-Bolt. Actually, no. I'm gonna Volt Switch out into Tran. To Chan. Your boy Hopkins. The Hitmonchan. And you could just go for his rocks. I'm fine with that. And also, I might fear he might be like a Metal Burst or something. He takes the T-Bolt and I just get knocked down by Metal Burst. So he's going to take a Cotillion from Volt Switch. I'm going to go out into my Hitmonchan. See, he's going to go f Ooh, Head Smash. That's nice. All right. Um, I see the Mesprit. I see the Sableye. Um, do I want to make a read? Yeah, I do. I'm going out to Carbink. As he does go out into Sableye. Uh, I don't know what you're going to do, but... Uh, I think you might just taunt me. Because that's what dark types do. Um, so I'm just gonna go for D Gleam. Get you. I think it should do a decent chunk. Um, oh, he's gonna go. Out. Oh, Agron. All right. Looks like we're getting up our rocks here. Cause I don't think this guy is gonna go for like Iron Head, but he he heavy slams me. Oh, well that was that was bad. <laughs> uh, but that's fine. I don't really need rocks this game. Um. I'm just gonna go out to Rotom. This time I'm just gonna go for T Bolt. I don't care if he switches into Lilligant. That just gives me a switch in into my Hitmonchan or Gorgeist. Because she can't really do much to me without that Quiver Dance boost. Alright. Yeah, this this is this is this is not going too well for us at this point. I lost my Carbink. Because I, I don't know why. I thought I was going to take a heavy slam. Especially since I am especially defensive. Um, this guy. Oh, well. Uh, shoot. Uh, I am gonna go into Gorgeist. Cause uh, what do these things run? They run Quiver Dance, Leaf Storm, Hidden Power, and I don't know what <laughs> I don't know what other coverage moves a Lilligant would have. Um, probably Sleep Powder, I guess, t so that it does get a free setup with Quiver. I would say, yeah. Alright, he's thinking about his move here. Uh, yeah. So, okay. And my Gorgeist. Oh, no, Malium Z. Oh, no, does he get like the Om. Um, does she get like Celebrate or whatever the hell it is? That boost? Oh, no, I'm not having that. Um, yo, I'm scared. Uh,. Shoot, you know what? I'm just uh crap. I'm just gonna go hard into Rotom because I can just go for Air Slash. She might get up a Quiver Dance, but if I can l manage to lay lay down a flinch on her, I think we should be. F oh, but she does just go into Sableye. All right, all right, making doubles. Um, well, not that wasn't really a double, but uh, do I wanna do I go for Trick? Uh, you know what? I will go for Trick, cause I don't like the Sableye. I really don't like it. You now he's scarfed into Will-O-Wisp, and I have his leftovers. I can just go for, I guess, fire off a Thunderbolt. Cause I think he'll probably go out into, I don't know if that's Hariyama Assault Vest or, well, no, no it's probably just Flame War because that is the best item for Hariyama. I don't know, his Mesper might be Spadef because he has an Agron and that Prime Mave is just looking prime time to sweep me. <laughs> Ironically enough, because that is my mascot, if you guys haven't seen from the the banner. Alright. Alright, so what's he gonna do? He's just gonna let stay in with the Sableye, he foul plays. Um I'm just gonna go for another Tiki Bolt. Because he doesn't really have anything to switch into this now that Agron is at 25, Mesprit 
I have no idea what that mess for is. Potentially healing wish. Potentially, I suppose. Alright, let's see what he's gonna do. Yeah, it really sucks that uh man if I had car bank right now, man I'd just be doing I'd just be smooth sailing against like something like the primate who can't really do too much because I don't think primate gets like a steel move and I do I am neutral to fighting Ugh. yeah I'm kind of regretting no no I, I don't regret tricking the scarf this thing is annoying all prankster mons are annoying hence why they nerfed the degeneration for dark types all right primate is here He's probably gonna go for a U-turn, predicting me to go into like Gorgas, but that's a no drawback play. Yep, I do. He does have the Choice Scarf, and that does literally zero. So with that said, I'm just gonna fire off. Uh, does he? Go? I'm just gonna go for. Hmm. Do I predict the low again to switch in? Uh. You know what? I'm gonna make an aggressive double out into my Archaeops because there's no reason he's staying here after doing that much damage. That's nothing. Alright, I'm just gonna go out to Archaeops and just see if I can just get a kill by going for um, Acrobatics because Aggron is at 25. He's not going to appreciate it upon switching. Hariyama is here. You might have Bullet Punch, but I'm not messing around with you. You have Knockoff or Gorgais, so I'm just gonna go for Acro. Just all right, he's gonna go into Mesprit. Gonna take a million. And yeah, as I said, Arrow gets a kill. Guaranteed kill at that point. You know, you can go out to Primeape again. And then I I think I might just go into, into Hitmonchan. As he might go for the U turn. Yeah, I'm just thinking two turns ahead here, as you should in competitive battling. Oh, 22 minutes so I guess this game is a bit long yeah 14 turns well this is nothing compared to like those stall matches luckily this is PU not a lot of viable stall going on down here hence why they're banned hence why mods like Quagsire just keeps on bouncing around oh I've been disconnected are you serious again oh my gosh hold on a second guys whoa oh yeah join all right Oh, okay. That that I didn't want. I didn't want to have to leave the match. All right. So Prime Mage is here. I'm going out to Valerie. See what you're gonna do. Yeah, I'll try Sky View turn. Yep. It's gonna go out into Lil again and try to set up. Uh, but I do have ways of dealing with that. Like I can just go hard, hit Montran, hit Montran, and just Ice Punch her. He does go out to Hariyama. Um. I, I really just want to leech seed you. He's going to heavy slam. Doesn't put me in a papa range, which is unfortunate. Damn, I really wanted that a papa to go off. Uh, shoot. Well, I have to sack this now, cause I need it. Cause everything else, this I really only need this to take on things like the primate, but primate is scarf, and I, yeah, he goes for heavy slam. Uh, but I can just go into arrow and just pick up another kill. He's gonna have to sack off that Agron. I've been waiting for him to do it previously, but he let the Mesper go for pretty much for free. Oh shoot, but he dies to burn. Yeah, that's the bullet punch, so I do actually take the bullet punch, even though it's adamant. Oh shoot. Uh, I, I'm really just gonna go into Hitmonchan. He goes for Stone Edge, it doesn't do much. And I think I can just go for Drain Punch. Yeah, Drain Punch. As it goes into Agron, get my health back. All right, now it goes into Prime Maybe, and I think he's or oh, Lil again, which I'm just gonna go for Ice Punch. I'm not gonna, I need to get damage on this because this thing's a threat if I let it set up. He goes for Sleep Powder. Shoot, alright, that's bad. That's definitely bad. I'm scared of this. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go into... Yep, she's gonna go for Quiver Dance. Shoot, I should've Mock Punch. I would've gotten off damage on this. Um, I'm gonna go... Who do I sack? 
Yeah, oh, it looks like I already went out to him. She's going for quiver dance. Um, I'm going for acrobatics. And Forge, I wish I had my scarf on Rotom, but that's Sableye. I guess Sableye was handled by Carbink, but I let it go to a heavy slam, which was just a bad play on my behalf. So now there's Logan just here with the Malium Z, whatever. I don't know what it is. Could be Hyper Beam for all I know. <laughs> oh my god, Z Hyper Beam. Can you believe it? She just breakneck blitzed. Whoa, I, yeah, that's just gonna be bad. I don't know what she's thinking about. Um, uh, yeah, I just have to go for acro because I don't even beat Primeape anymore at this amount of health. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go for acro. This was a good game, regardless of the outcome. Um, I won two out of the three, so you know, um, I should probably just, I mean, this would be around the time that I would, I don't, I still think it's possible for me to win. It just depends on whether. Like, Kadabra can take one after I go for my punch on Lilligan. I just go into Kadabra and see what I can do. And then Primate comes in, locks himself in on a move. And depending on that, Rotom may be able to just end off the match at that point. Uh, she goes for Giga Drain. Okay, well, that was just. Alright, so I lost due to inactivity. All right, so that was that was just bad. <laughs> oh, I don't know what's up with this server. I'm pretty sure it's nothing wrong with my internet. But yeah, guys, that'll be it for today. If you guys have enjoyed this rather rocky start to a showdown series, feel free to comment down below, leave a like, subscribe, share the video, click down the notification bell down below, and I hope you guys have a nice day. Peace out.